What is going on guys? It is Duke and today we are back looking at something that is uh, really been requested by you guys. Now when I say requested, I'm not really talking about you guys going on the comments, coming at me saying, yo Duke, this is what I want to see. What I'm talking about are analytics. Now, uh, as far as YouTubers go, we get different tools that, that are at our disposal as far as things we can look at which maybe help our channel grow, which can help reach out to uh, the viewers and see what they want to watch. So one of the things we're looking at here is the top YouTube search terms. Really, that, that's, that's, that's bringing you guys to my channel, bringing you guys over to see what's going on with the content. And the number one search term that's bringing guys to see the videos that you're watching right now is Town Hall 10 War Attack. Now that might be because I'm a Town Hall 10 and I do a lot of Town Hall 10 videos. I also do Town Hall 9, but for the most part, 3.4% of search terms are Town Hall 10 War Attack. So what better way to, uh, you know, just to help fulfill your desire to watch videos on the channel to be then to bring you some Town Hall 10 attacks. Now, right now, of course, we know that the game right now, the meta at Town Hall 10 is uh, kind of all over the place. We got loons, we got witches, we got hogs, we got everything tearing it up except maybe uh, P.E.K.K.A.s. Maybe P.E.K.K.A.s are the only thing not tearing it up. Over here at Assassin's Core, this is Chief. He is going to be going in with a Kamikaze Lalo. That is one of the big the big attack strategies right now at the moment now it's kind of like old school back in the day before people did uh some queen walks or whatnot you dropped your healers you dropped your heroes down and went right in to try and smash out a path or get rid of certain things on the agenda but right now you can see the king this is going to be an air raid so we're looking to get rid of some air defenses maybe a uh an inferno tower but you can see right now the king is creating a nice little pathway for the queen to come on through. Now those wall breakers, they punched a nice hole for the queen to jump in there and take out one of those air defenses. Now the next thing really that the chief look is looking to do is take out that inferno tower. But there were two gold storages right in front of which were really high DPS percentage buildings. So she was able to take out one of the gold storages. Working on the second one now pops the ability and she is going to turn and take out the Inferno Tower, which was perfect. She could have went north and went after that cannon, which would have been bad because by the time that she would have finished off the cannon, the Inferno Tower would have taken her out. Now it is time to bring in the Hounds and the Loons in a clockwise motion here. So you're seeing Chief do a wonderful job of going ahead and dropping down. Uh, we're going to be going with kind of like a, uh, a queen pop here. As you can see, there's nothing else. There's no kill squad going to be taking out the queen. And it looks like you had the, uh, the hound in the clan castle, which will not be triggered with this air attack. So here we go. We got haste. We got three haste still in the bag here. We have the rage spells, which are going to be used to go ahead and take out that last, which is the second inferno tower. Now, right now, the queen is being attacked by the pups here, which will take her down. So wonderful job of chief going ahead and just being able to exploit the position of the archer queen with the rage spells and helping out with those pups coming through. Because by the time that the that the hounds were able to get around the base here they were popped and the pups came out and the pups were able to target the archer queen there and really this base is just nothing but wrecked here so amazing job by chief uh with uh what's this uh Havatska. that's who that's that's the clan that i'm talking about saying so assassin's core with some wonderful town hall 10 hits we're going to be looking at four of them so make sure right now you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure you click that click that little notification button that's going to alert you whenever the videos come out i know all the guys that i follow i like to click on their notifications and see them pop up on my phone and get excited about it so this is made in vn so i'm guessing made in vietnam assassin's core i could be wrong no comment down below if i'm wrong but another kamikaze Lalo hit here so as you can see they're gonna be going down King is always primarily going in to take out uh, a good amount of the structures to clear a path for the Queen he is the tank he is the bulldozer and you can see this just doing that we got the Town Hall 9 um, expos there so you can see she's going to take out one air defense and you're going to be going for uh, anything else she can find there let's see which way she walks but we have 
pretty much everything up towards the top of the space. So this is an interesting uh, entry as far as uh, the raid goes and the, the attack. But keep your eye on the queen throughout this. I know I'm going to jump around. We already got some loons down. We got the hound coming out. But this queen, she's going to stay alive forever. So she's going to be walking all the way around this base. We have hounds down, loons being dropped three, four at a time on each defense. And then we have another hound coming in the top. So a big fatty hound coming in from the top here. Hay spells. We got a raid spell down. One still in the pocket. And we have three hay spells still sitting in there. And the heal spell, which is going to go down right over those Inferno Towers, which is nasty. So it's going to rip it up. So right now this base is a glorified Town Hall 9. Inferno Towers are done. And there's really nothing left but these Expos, which is going to rip up down there. All kinds of balloons coming in from this left-hand side. They're going to be coming around in a counterclockwise motion which is great pathing here this attack worked out perfect queen is still up there as you can see she's bounced around she still has her ability so she was really went through this unscathed now a hay spell right over top of where that pop-up tesla is it's going to propel those uh, balloons over to take out the expo and then come on down and get that wizard tower which was really the last biggie out of the way because that single point defense archer tower is not going to stand a chance but over there on the left hand side we have just a gaggle of pups and minions and the queen pops her ability but really at this point it is all she wrote base is just taken down so he clocked this base uh, made in a B and awesome attack really really good these town hall 10 triples can make or break your war so I've seen some wars where town hall 10s were just so tough as far as going ahead and getting them but now we're gonna jump in with Rydal he is going to be coming in with the gobo we attack here so we got golems we got bowlers and we got witches so as you can see he's coming in from the bottom got a couple of healers down on that side now this is going to be an awesome one you'll see towards the end and over there at the top we have more bowlers and witches now really what you want to do with that is create a nice funnel because you want your heroes to go right up the gut of the base along with the clan castle bowlers and once they can get inside of the space take out the clan castle take out the Archer Queen, another jump. So you want two jumps because you want to jump right in. You want to make a little bit of movement and jump across to the second half of the base. Meanwhile, you have a lot of uh, attention being focused on that center kill squad going through. Meanwhile, you have enough damage coming around the outside of the base, whether it's on the bottom there, which we still have a good amount. We got four witches down there. And it looks like we got three bowlers and the healers. And in the meantime, in the middle there, we have Expos being just... Uh, Tear, torn up we have inferno towers being taken down right there and we still have the queen with her ability which she's uh, hang, uh flanking right behind her barbarian king and just do an amazing job so by the time bk goes down queen still has all of her health and the ability and on the right hand side we have some wreckage going on with the witches and the bowlers as they're going to be ripping around this base so right now uh it looks like the heroes are gone and it is really up to uh it's up to the the witches and a few bowlers that are left so this is amazing because it, it looks like at this point this could be a fail it could be a fail but really because of the healer it looks like there's just one healer there it is going to do an amazing job because it looks like the bowler is alive for right now it's going to go down in a few seconds here but these witches are just going to do an amazing job of staying alive just going through and taking out two cannons two different archer towers and the mortar which is rather amazing because uh it, it looks like really it, it, it's going down but it's not happening. The healers do an amazing job keeping them alive. They're spawning up skeletons, which are just creating enough of a distraction to distract the defenses enough to go through where they can rip it up. We have about 20 skeletons ripping through. And if you watch, we even have those mortars going to be focusing on the right hand side. If you, if you just peek in there, it looks like they're going to shoot over. Now the uh, mortar is going to pop off. Let me see if it's going to shoot right on those witches. But look at that. Because of the healer right there, no damage. It's amazing. So you can see just the power of the healers with these witches, which is rather ridiculous if you ask me. It's it's just an overmatch uh, right there. So three stars for Rydell. Amazing job, like I was saying a little bit ago. Three stars for your Town Hall 10s is amazing. You can really turn the tide of a war, so it's awesome. Now we have a knock coming through with the same style hit here. Two, he two healers, which are going to come down in the corner with the couple of uh, witches that are dropped and the bowlers. And up top there, we have more witches and bowlers. Like I said, you're always creating that funnel because you want to funnel your main guys in here. Well, now we have a golem coming down right into the middle. 
excuse me, you're going to see the, the, the heroes come down. Two jump spells, always two jump spells. You want to get across this base as far as possible without having to cut through walls. That can be a killer because that can really uh, hold up your kill squad and get them uh, to be taken out a little bit prematurely because uh, you want uh, focus to be on the center. So we have a rage spell down and a heal spell right into the center there. Another jump spell, but you can see that's just going to be no problem because those rage spell on those bowlers will just make them go absolutely berserk. They will go crazy taking out everything right there in the middle. But the witches, the bowlers are coming down. And by this time, this base is uh, almost wrecked up here. <clears throat> we have uh, Inferno Tower being destroyed. One Inferno Tower down. Looks like two Inferno Towers down. So that is a big problem for uh, Slanky. It's like kissing me over here. So, uh, but <clears throat> as you can see, Queen is doing her thing, and she's going to take out those uh, defenses. So she's going to jump over, take out the uh, Archer Tower down at the bottom. We have still some cannons, and we have the Expo. So this raid right here is going to come right down to the wire. But you can see what's going to happen. We still have a minute left in this, so <clears throat> not too much left. <coughs> Watch out. So, not too much left as far as the troops go. So, we're going to see the queen's going to come around and she is going to do her best to go ahead and take out what she can. We still have the ability left, still have majority of her uh, life left. Uh, the witches are going to be spawning up those skeletons. We're going to just go quickly through this. This one comes down quick. So, like I said, whether you overwhelm the base or whether you get by just by the skin of your teeth, it doesn't matter. Three star is a three star, so keep your eye on the queen. Now she has to deal with the expo, pops the ability, goes after that cannon. Now they have to get through the walls there because the, that, that expo was set too far back. One tile too far back, and let's see, the queen's going to focus on it. Now the expo is right in on the queen, and boom, just a slither of health left. That is how close this raid was as we zoom in there and check out. That's all it was. That right there can win you a war, the importance of it. Make sure you guys are staying on it. A little bit of details can really make a huge difference. So, I hope you guys liked the video, thumbs up. I love Town Hall 10 triples. Everybody loves Town Hall 10 triples. It gets some hype in the clan. It can just propel you to that win that you guys are looking for. So like I said, make sure you're sharing the video with the guys in your clan and your clan family. If they're struggling at Town Hall 10, it's still not a gimme, even though this uh, past update Kind of just really put a little bit of a buff in Town Hall 10. We're still not all the way there yet. You have to practice in your FCs. You got to watch videos. You got to train them up. And you got to have skill. So, like I said, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. And we will catch you guys later.